Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll be looking at bubble sort algorithm. Now the bubble sort algorithm is probably the easiest algorithm out there but it's not the most efficient. Now how the bubble sort algorithm works is by comparing the first two elements in the list and it checks. Now these can sort values in ascending or descending order. I'll be using these cards to demonstrate how it works. So as like I was saying, you compare the two first elements in the list. So here I've got S list I and S list I plus one. If the first element is larger than the next, than the second element, we swap them. We swap and then we carry on and then we compare these two and then we compare these two, then we compare these two and we compare these two and we compare these two and we keep doing that. We keep repeating that process until there are no more swaps okay until there are no more swaps so to start us for to do this with this set of data we have here the first thing i'll do is to compare two and five now i know two and five and um, two is smaller than five so nothing has needs to happen there so we move on to these two okay to compare five and a now a we know is one now because five is larger than a what i'll do is i'll take a copy of a and assign it to a temporary variable so that's my temporary variable then i'll take the value five and then move that value to s list i there okay and then i will take the value from my temporary variable and then assign it there there we go and then i'll move on to this two so five is larger than four again i'll take this value there assign it to my temporary variable okay i would move this value to so i'll overwrite the content of s list i and then i'll assign four to s list i okay and then i'll move on to these two comparing five and six now five is smaller than six there is absolutely no need for us to swap anything which means i'll move on to this next value there okay now six is larger than three which means i'll take a copy of three put in a temporary variable i'll swap overwrite what's on position five there index position five and put six there and then i'll take the value in my temporary variable and then put that in position four and then i'll move on again to the next item there and I'll compare these two. There is no need for me to swap anything here because six is smaller than seven. And at this point, I am done with the first pass. Now, with the first pass in every bubble sort, the last item is sorted. Okay, the last item is sorted. Now, because I, like I said before, we carry on doing this sort until there are no more swaps, but we had a swap in our last, um, pass so which means we'll go back again and start okay so look at these two i'll do it faster now um so we we'll look at these two we move a to temporary variable move two to a move the value in our temporary variable back there okay and then we come here we look at these two okay two is smaller than four we move on four is smaller than five we we'll move on five is larger than three so take a copy of that um, move it to our temporary variable overwrite the content of this one and then move the value in our temporary variable here okay and then we move on five is smaller than six six is and then you check again six is smaller than seven no more now we had a swap in that last pass 
which means we'll have to repeat this process. So we come back here again and check A and 2. A is smaller than 2, so we're good there. And then we move on. 2 is smaller than 4. That's good. We'll move on. Now, 3 is 4 is larger than 3, which means there is a need for us to swap. So we'll take a copy of that, put that in the temporary variable, and then move this here. If you're wondering why I'm taking a copy and putting that in a temporary variable, it's so that we don't overwrite the content of our list. We'll lose it forever if we do that. So we'll always take a copy and then we move that value in our temporary variable. We'll take a copy of that value in our temporary variable and then we put it down there. And we move on again, compare these two. Four is smaller than five and then we move on. Five is smaller than six, we'll move on. Six is smaller than seven. We've just had a pass, a swap in that last pass, and then we, which means we would have to repeat this process again. Now, this is the reason why, one of the reasons we say this sort algorithm is not very efficient. Because although by looking at it, we know that there are no more swaps, but the system, we know um, it's sorted, I mean, I mean to say, but because we've had a swap, the system doesn't know that. So the system needs to do a final check. So it goes back again and compares this to A, 1 is smaller than 2, so that's fine. Compares 2 smaller than 3, 3 smaller than 4, 4 smaller than 5, 5 smaller than 6, 6, six smaller than 7. There are no more swaps. And at this point, it concludes that all the values are sorted. This is how the bubble sort algorithm works. Thank you.